Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and today I'm going to do last Friday's card. So Friday is usually my Christmas card. I had some issues um, last Friday with my internet, and I couldn't get um, on to make a video or a Facebook Live. So I thought this day, Monday, I'm going to do last Friday's card. And what card this is, this was the third card of my stamp club. Now with stamp club, we make two cards together, and then I send you the third card already made, and this is what it looked like. So um, it's using this gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper that I fell in love with. I think what I like most, most about this designer series paper is the Christmas colors. Look how pretty and festive and Christmassy that paper is. Let's go this route too. But I absolutely love this paper, and so that's what I wanted to make something. And the, well, that's why I bought it was because of all the bright Christmas colors that are in the paper. So this is the card that we're going to make. This is a couple other of the designer series paper that I used for my club packets. But let me show you how I made the card. We're going to use the Evergreen Elegance um, stamp set. Now in club, we pick a bundle and we use it two months in a row. And this happens to be the bundle. And oh, here, I do have the punch. I didn't think I had the punch handy. But this is the bundle that we use for September and October. So let's go ahead and make the card. Now, I saw this card on Pinterest. There's so many variations. I don't even know what demonstrator to give credit. But I kind of took it a little bit and made it my own. I have a card base here. This is, um, what is this called? Cinnamon Cider, it's one of the in colors. It's also a color from the designer series paper. That's gonna be our card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half. And then I just scored it in half at four and a fourth and made a nice card base there. I took a sheet of designer series paper and now I cut one piece down to, um, it goes on this one, on my red. <laughs> it cut it down to five by three and three fourths. This is real red, that is five and a fourth by four, and I'm gonna just layer those two together. Now, if you miss the measurements, or if it, my measurements don't sound right, because sometimes my mouth goes faster than my brain, be sure and check out my blog, BeCreativeWithKathy.com, and um, I have all the measurements on there. Boy, I thought I got it crooked, but I think it's good enough, because it was stuck and would not let it go. But I'm just gonna adhere, adhere, or start with these, layers to make my card base right here just like that and now we have a pretty good start now this piece is just a scrap left from when I cut my piece from the six by six so I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to cover the flap of my envelope and that way it makes it all matchy matchy and really pretty and when you get it in the mail it's really special so I'm going to take that and I've just covered the flap of my envelope and I'm going to layer. In fact, I think I'm going to do it this way so I can see where the very edge is and lay my designer series paper right there and then just trim away that extra. So now I have a really pretty envelope and I'm sure if you watch my videos you see me do that again and again. I'll just cut it along there real quick like and now we have a decorated envelope just that simple and we haven't wasted any of that designer series paper okay let's do some stamping so i have a piece here oh my gosh you're gonna have to go to my blog because i can't remember what size this one is this is the inside of our card so this is five and a fourth by four and this little strip i know is four and a fourth by three fourths because this is what we're going to put through our um it's called pick a punch shoot i had that the name of it too it's in our annual catalog but i'm gonna slide it right in here the um pick a punch here does three different sizes you can punch paper that is one a half inch three fourths inch and one inch and it does all three and turns them into banners you line it up in the back just like that it's a great punch i love this punch but now i have a piece just perfect and you can get those measurements on my blog in case I read them wrong but that's going to be just perfect for the banner on the front of our card so let's start with some old olive ink here and I'm going to use this evergreen sprig here 
And on this little piece, I think it's two and a half. I might try to find the measurements, but I'm going to stick my head in the camera real quick and stamp it up at top. And then I'm even going to turn it around because I think it's easier for me to stamp it at the top. And I'm going to stamp it again so now it looks like that. And then while I have my old olive here, I'm going to do the same thing to the inside of my card and just place a little sprig right there at the top of the inside of my card. We're all done with the green. Let's bring in some of that real red. And these again, like I said, are just parts of the or colors in the designer series paper. But on this little tag here now that's going to fit perfect, I'm going to stamp that little Merry Christmas. And I want to practice one time. There we go. Just to make sure that it's inked up and ready to go. Then I'm going to center it here on my tag. Ooh, look how nice that looks right there. And then with some of the words from the design, uh, the stamp set, it has these two greetings right here. I'm going to use that it's friends like you that make the season so wonderful. And I'm going to ink that up in the real red and just stamp that under this little, see if I can't get it straight, that little sprig right there. And then there I have the inside of my card. So let's go ahead and put this on the inside. Whoop, through my stamp and seal across the table. And look how pretty that um, cinnamon cider and old olive and real red are together. I think it gives it a really nice festive color. Like that, okay. Now I also took earlier and did some work in hand. These are the scallop contour dies, which you've seen me use a bunch. I love these dies. I cut one out and it looks like it's the third, or no, I guess it's the second. Nope, it's the third from the largest. And this is old olive. I'm gonna take this little piece here and just put it in the center. And I cut this so you could still see the stitch stitching around the edge, but it's very close. To that stitching and it gives it so it looks like that let me hold it up a little so you can see look how nice the stitching is on that um die we're going to put this on with dimensionals and i guess if you didn't have the contour die you could just cut a square about the same size and it would work just as well if you're trying to hurry or say for instance you don't have a die cut machine or the um dies yet. Now I think the die cut machine and the dies are well worth the money spent. I use them all the time and they sure do add an elegance to my my projects. And then with this I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. And I do believe in Stampin' Up's die cut machine. I think it's one of the best and you can find it at my online store which I'll put in the description of this video. Put that there. And then we're going to just center that right here in the front. Whoop, center, Cappy. Try that again. There we go, just like that. Now, I think there is a really pretty card, but I think we need some bling. So I'm going to bring in, and oh, I do have enough in this packet. These are the red rhinestone basic dies. You get like 220 in a package, so they're well, well worth the purchase. And you can use them for all your Christmas projects, but I'm going to just take three of these little blingy thingies and put it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put three more on the inside. And look how pretty that little red bling, whoops, I'm out of that one. Let me bring in this one. But look how pretty that red bling, bling looks on that old olive sprig. I think they're really, really pretty and it pops your card just a little bit more. So there you go. There's my card for today. Very quick and easy. Let me show you those other designer series papers that I used from that pack on the same card. Because really there's a bunch in there. Maybe you could use all of them. But look how pretty all of those are. Now like I said, this was the third card of my club for October. Let me show you the other two cards. And just more ways you can use this Evergreen Elegant stamp set. So for October, we made this one that I think is really pretty. We did the same thing on the inside as I did my card today. 
but that one's really pretty. And then we did a birthday card that looks like this. And then this one, I used the punch with the row of trees just to decorate the upside or the inside a little bit. And I have a video called Making October's um, Stamp Club Cards. So you can go back and see how I made those. And those measurements are on my blog as well. And then for, what's the month before? September's class, this was the card that I made and sent in the packet. So it was already made. Looks like that, using that same stamp set. And then this is a Christmas card that we made. Looks like that using that punch down here, and it's got that same red bling on there, and then we did do a birthday card that looked like this. So this bundle, the um, Evergreen Elegance, is available on my online store. There's the punch. It's a punch bundle that has this bordering trees. I think it's great and very versatile. So there you go, there's all my cards for the last two months. If you're ever interested in joining my club, please let me know. All it is is a $30 purchase and then I send you all the consumables and you just have to supply the ink and the stamp set and then sometimes the punch. So thanks for watching and um, I'll see you back here Friday with another Christmas project. Have a great week. Bye bye.